Let's catch up with the former Nequa Valley football star, Mikey Dudek, and all the obstacles he's overcome in Where Are They Now? Presented by Molly Maids of the Aurora Naperville area. If you paid attention to Chicagoland High School football in 2012 or 2013, there weren't many players more dynamic than Nequa Valley wide receiver Mikey Dudek. A huge part of Nequa Valley's state semifinal appearance in 2012, Dudek recorded nearly 4,000 yards of total offense and scored 42 touchdowns in his career en route to first-team All-State honors as a senior. Despite his gaudy numbers and highlight reel catches, Dudek was severely overlooked in recruiting, receiving only one FBS scholarship offer from the University of Illinois, which surprised Nequa Valley head coach Bill Ellinghouse. <laughs> no, I don't think I've come across anybody that's proven doubt is wrong uh, like he has. It's rather mind-boggling to me, um, you know, because I knew what he was able to do on the high school football field, and I knew he would be able to extend it to the next level. As a freshman at U of I in 2014, it was immediately apparent that the Illini had a game-changing playmaker in their huddle. Snap back to Lunt, delayed handoff to, Lunt, to uh, Ferguson, pitches it back to West, throwing it deep, looking for Dudek, and he's got another one. Inside the 15-yard line. Oh, he is something else. After breaking the school's freshman receiving record, the future looked bright for both Dudek and the Illini. The team earned its first bowl game berth in three seasons, and Dudek was named second team All-Big Ten and a first team freshman All-American. His tremendous success was no surprise to Nequa Valley wide receivers coach J.R. Niklos. With, with Mikey's work ethic, he's just one of those kids that you just root for. You see him, and I've trained him since eighth grade, you know, obviously coached him at Nequa, and you know how bad he wants it. But all that was ripped apart in April of 2015. During spring workouts, Dudek tore the ACL in his right knee, requiring surgery and a medical redshirt season. That fall, controversy hit the Illinois campus as head coach Tim Beckman and athletic director Mike Thomas were fired from their positions due to accusations from former players that the coaching staff had forced them to play despite being injured. The shakeups did not end there. In the winter of 2016, new athletic director Josh Whitman fired Beckman's replacement Bill Cubitt and hired former Chicago Bears coach Lovey Smith to lead the football team, the team's third head coach in under six months. With Smith at the helm and Dudek near the completion of his rehab, stability and optimism finally appeared to be back in place for the beleaguered program. But nearly one year to the day after his previous injury, a tragic form of deja vu reared its head. And, uh, you know, the game, uh, you know, sometimes can uh, be cruel. Uh, we've had a couple injuries. Michael Duty, uh, significant uh, knee injury. He'll have season-ending surgery next week. It's unfortunate. The guy worked himself, you know, pretty hard to get back in position, but injuries happen. After another season watching from the sidelines, intense rehab and nightly prayer, Dudek was finally cleared to return for the start of the 2017 season. In the season opener against Ball State, nearly 1,000 days since his last game, Mikey quickly showed he was back to his old form. Golden opportunity here in the red zone for Illinois. Crouch with a toss to the end zone. It is caught. Dudek touchdown. And guess who caught it? Mike Dudek. I, I had chills the first time I watched him play on the field again because, um, you know, I, I love that kid and uh, I loved I loved the fact that he grinded it out. Um, never had a doubt that he was going to be able to make it back, um, but I knew how hard it was for him. And, um, you know, and he just battled and watching him do what he's able to do again is just, uh, it, gives, it gives me the chills. I know it sounds corny, but um, it really, it's just, it's awesome to see. After the first three games of the season, the redshirt junior leads the Illini in receptions and yards, plus his 52-yard punt return in week one set up the eventual game-winning touchdown. I went crazy when I saw it. I was sitting here in meetings when it happened, watching it on my, uh, my phone. And I mean, I, his senior year at Nequa, I think he led the nation in uh, return touchdowns. So it's been special to see all that happen for him. After years of overcoming doubters, injuries, and off-the-field distractions, Dudek can finally focus on playing the game he loves and the pursuit of his dreams. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Justin Cornwell.